Everything Outdoors, and today we are going to talk about backpacking cook kits. The stoves I've used and the cook kits I have used. So, we're going to start out with this is the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set. You can buy it at Walmart for $14.97. Everything it comes with weighs in at 12.8 ounces. The lid, handle that locks into place, easily adjusts, moves. Comes with two cups that nest inside. If you're like me, you don't use the cups, you get rid of them. Just the bare camp pot right here with lid weighs in at 7.2 ounces. Very nice. Holds 24 ounces of, of water, so you can you can cook or you can boil up a lot of water for your meal and for a coffee or hot chocolate or anything of that nature. Now, if I bring the Stanley cook set, I bring the Ozark Trail stainless steel mug. What I I like this for my for my hot beverage, my my coffee or my hot chocolate. So what I do when I pack it, I just nest the Stanley cook kit right into the Ozark Trail mug. Put all my stuff I need inside here, and away I go. I've also used the GSI Minimalist. This comes with a little pot gripper. And then it comes with a small little spork. Now everything that you get with this kit right here weighs 7.3 ounces. You take everything out of it. Go with the pot cozy. The lid and the pot comes in at 6.6 .6 ounces. This you can find on Amazon for $29. I can fit my UST micro stove, my focus ring, my extra foil that I bring for a windscreen and a ground sheet, and then my Bic lighter in there. I can fit it all in here. And when I do that, everything I need, except for my fuel cube, weighs 9.3 ounces. Now let's talk about the stoves we have sitting in front of me. Like I said before, I got the UST Micro Stove. I found it on Amazon last year about this time on sale for $4.95, but I had to pay $5 shipping and handling. This thing weighs 0.5 ounces for this little stove. Put your fuel tablet there. Put your setup for your cook kit on top, and boom, you're, you're boiling water. I found this focus ring idea from watching K Dog Crazy. You take a little tomato paste can, you cut it down about three quarters of an inch, and it will fit right inside of there, and it will focus that flame and that heat to the bottom of your cook kit. Now I can boil about 20 ounces of water with one tablet in about mm, 9 minutes, 9 to 10 minutes. I bought this, this is a UST folding stove that I bought from Walmart when I first was going to go on the backpacking trip. I've never used this stove, but all you would do is Put your stove on there like that, or put your cook kit on the stove like that. Have your fuel tablet in the middle. You know, you got, it can adjust to accommodate different sizes of, of pots to put on there. You can go with a little larger pot. This, when I bought it, 
came with eight fuel tablets in here, and I think I paid around $6 at the time. Right now on Walmart.com, with the eight fuel tablets, it is $9.61. Without it, it's six sixty four. Now I will say, what I don't like about this, it's bulky. It takes up more room in your pack. Now, it's not very heavy. It's only 3.8 ounces. I mean, and it folds down to that. But you still have to try to get that nicely in your pack along with a cook kit. Where this, I can fold up. Take, take my cook pot. Take my extra aluminum foil for my windscreen and my ground sheet. Set it in there. Take my focus ring. Take my micro stove. My lighter. Four tablets. These tablets weigh in at 0.7 ounces. And eight of them is going to cost you $6 on Amazon right now. So I can take that. Get it all in there. And that's my cook setup right there. Four tablets will get me three to four meals. Depending on how much water I'm going to boil and I'm going to have a coffee with my meal or not. I normally will use about one and a half per meal to boil my water for my coffee which I will put in this mug and then about another half to boil my water for my mountain house meal. My silverware that I bring I found these at Walmart for 88 cents for all three of them. They're plastic I mean they do bend but just eating a mountain house meal out of the bag I've never had an issue I mean, they work great. I don't take all three. I normally either going to take the spoon or the fork with me, depending on what I have for meals set up that time for that trip. If we go back to the Stanley, the cups weigh 2.8 ounces a piece. But I leave those at home. I don't take them. I would rather take a little bit heavier cup. Take the Ozark Trail, it's 18 ounces, weighs 4.6 ounces, $5 at Walmart. I'd rather take this, I got more capacity, and I can pack it all, everything I need, down in a smaller little package. Like I said before, this stove, I don't use, I don't, I'm not saying I don't recommend it, I can't say it's bad, I can't say it's good, I've never used it. Bought it prematurely thinking this was going to be the stove I was going to use. I did not. Luckily it had those eight fuel tablets in there. So those tablets alone paid for the price of the stove. I mean, they pretty much paid for the tablets, got the stove for free. This will be what I use when my wife is coming with me. Because we can have bigger capacity of water to boil at a time. The GSI Minimalist is what I bring when I go by myself. For me, there's not a huge difference in weight. Other than when I bring the GSI, I don't bring the, the stainless steel cup. I can still fit everything I have in here in, in my GSI cook kit. So I can package it all the same. The only thing I cannot package in there is my fuel tablet so I'll just keep those in my Ziploc baggie and put them in a pocket where I know they're at. So the tablets are 0.7 ounces so me I'll, I'll just take a package of eight throw in my little Ziploc when I go out, I know I have plenty. I have more than enough, but for me, carrying that extra weight isn't a big deal. I, 
I carry a full-size Bic lighter. I don't feel that the weight savings you get from a Bic Mini is worth it. But the, I did make my windscreen out of tin foil. And actually, it works really well. I made a, a ground sheet out of tin foil also that I can set my stove on just to help reflect that heat back up into my pot of water and I think that helps so this is my setup when I go out I either have my Stanley Adventure camp cook set or my GSI cook set with me and I go out and I'm I'm boiling water simple as that really windy out obviously I'm I'm throwing my windscreen around there you know, if it's super windy, yeah, my aluminum foil windscreen isn't going to be the greatest thing in the world that's going to blow around. But I haven't had any issues with just going with the aluminum foil. And all I did was take some heavy duty aluminum foil, a big, big sheet of it, and felt, folded it over multiple times to get a decent size or windscreen for it. So if I'm taking my Stanley cook kit and I'm bringing my Ozark Trail fork and my cup with everything else in there, I am looking at 14.1 ounces for my cook kit minus the fuel tablets. If I bring my GSI with everything minus the fuel tablets and minus the Stanley or my Ozark Trail cup and my silverware, whatever one I'm bringing at the time. I go with their small little spork. I am at 9.3 ounces. So all my cook set setup is under a pound, no matter how I'm gonna go about it, what I'm bringing, how much I'm bringing of what. That if I leave the cup at home, I'm at 9.3 9 ounces. So, you know, that's the extra weight I'm carrying for me is worth it. Now, if you want to go lightweight, and it's just you on a trip, you know, you can you can take your, your Ozark Trail. You have a Stanley deal. The lid fits right on it. And you can, this could be your setup right here. You know, like I said, you could take, that will fit in there, your focus ring will fit in there, the lighter will fit in there. And you can get your, your field tablets in there. And right there, you have a light, small, Fairly compact cook kit, and I'll weigh that right now for you. And that right there with those four fuel tablets in there weighs 9.9 .9 ounces. So just to go back over the Stanley cook kit. Without the cup, comes in at 7.2 ounces, $15 at Walmart right now, in store or online. The GSI Minimalist, with everything you get with it, the fork, the pot gripper, the cozy, comes in at 7.3 ounces and is $29 on Amazon. UST fuel tablets right now are $6 on Amazon. You can buy bulk packs where I think they give you six. You can get six packs of eight that come in a package. They're $31 I thought I saw on Amazon. So you can save yourself a little bit of money by buying bulk. You want to go this route, the folding stove, UST makes it. 
Same as the Esbit and the Coglins that I've seen out there. Weigh 3.8 ounces, 664 without the fuel tablet, 961 with eight fuel tablets at Walmart.com. Remember the micro stove weighs in at 0.5 ounces. Right now on Amazon, like I said, I bought that for about $5, paid $5 to ship it. Right now, if you buy an Esbit one, they're about 15 bucks. And if you decide you're going to get the UST one, they are $19. There is not 15 to $19 of metal here, but it's lightweight and compact, and they're going to charge you more for it. So that's what I bring when I go out. I have a variation of cook kit, but every time I've gone out right now, I've had the fuel tablets. I haven't used a canister stove, even though I do own a canister stove. I bought this on Amazon. It's an Ice Tech brand. I paid, I think, $8, maybe $9 on this. Looks exactly the same as all the other knockoff ones out there, the E-Tech City and all those. There's no nothing different other than color-wise. I think if I go backpacking with my wife, I will definitely bring this with me just to speed up the process of boiling water since we'll have to boil more water. Comes in this nice little case. And if I need be, I can set this in there. I won't be able to package this in a fuel canister in any of mine. Uh, cook cook kits but for what it's going to save me I will be able to boil water faster this way with the canister for my wife and I when we go out backpacking if you guys have any questions about certain stuff of anything I've used or even I haven't used but I know friends that have used them you leave me a comment thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a great day.